pero muy emocionado porque estoy frente a uno de mis ídolos, una, una leyenda del terror. Voy a cumplir un sueño. It's a dream come true for me. Robert Ingram, eh? Freddy Krueger, The Legend of Horror here in Argentina. Welcome. Don't, don't say dream come true. <laughs> Why not? Oh, yes. Pesadilla. No, no, no. A dream. Pesadilla. No nightmare. Oh, sueño. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Argentina. This is your first oh, time in our country. Primera vez. Gracias. Es una leyenda. Ha hecho muchas películas. Pero vamos a ir al principio. Let's go to the, your childhood. Do you, do you remember what was the, the, the movie that really liked you? A horror movie that really liked you in your childhood? Well, the first movie that just, it, it really affected me. Uh, with special effects was uh, the uh, original uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea with the Nautilus and, and Captain Nemo and the giant squid, Calamari Grande. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, no, but I mean, it was a great effects. Mm -hmm. uh, Kurt Douglas, yes. James Mason, Peter, Peter Lorre. Yes. You know, great cast, and it really changed my life because I was there the opening week of Disneyland. Yes. And they had the actual set from the inside of the submarine and the giant squid, and you could visit it. And as a kid, it just changed my life because yes. I saw how they made the magic. Mm -hmm. And do you remember the, the first time that you read the script of Nightmare on the street? Well, I read the script and I liked it, but more than that, Wes Craven explained to me on the audition his ideas and what it meant, what the movie meant and, and the style he wanted to do. And I was very intrigued because we'd had dream sequences in Hollywood musicals, but not in horror movies. And this was the first time yes. that there would be horror dream sequences, which I thought was a great idea. Mm -hmm. And how was the experience shooting with a lot of makeup? Well, it's actually, it's terrible putting it on every morning mm. but once it dries it's very light and, oh, yeah? and, and it doesn't itch anymore only when it's being applied and it's drying does it itch and, but be, uh, the hiding under the makeup yes. enabled me to use a lot of tricks from the theater from from the stage that I came from so I was able to change my voice mm. and move differently and uh, it was sort of liberating uh, for an actor mm -hmm. and how was working with Wes Craven well Wes is a genius you know mm. He reinvented horror three times. First, with The Hills Have Eyes and Last, La Last House on the Left. Then with the Nightmare franchise. That's eight movies. Mm -hmm. Then he did the uh, Scream franchise, which sort of deconstructed the horror movie and acknowledged the fans and their input and, and everything that they brought to the process. So he completely redefined horror three times over in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the last question, you know, uh... I love other character, Willy, oh. uh, the good alien. How important was Willy in your career? Willy is important because I made many, many friends and I learned to really act for the TV camera. But more important, it was the first time audiences put my name to my face. Well, I'd done 15 movies and I was part of the Renaissance in Hollywood in the 1970s working with great actors like Susan Sarandon, Jeff Bridges, Sally Field, Henry Fonda, Burt Reynolds, Charles Bronson. But when I did V, it was the first time audiences put the name Robert England to, the, to this face. Yes. <laughs> yes. Robert, you're very kind. Oh. I'm very excited. Thank very you. excited. I'm very emocionado. Oh. I need the cue. Really. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Robert England in Argentina.